Different stakeholders and experts have discussed how to enhance revenue collection as the Uganda Revenue Authority embarks on efforts to meet its 29.7 trillion shilling revenue collections target. This was during the post-budget conference which highlighted ways to generate revenue for targeted growth and full monetization of the Ugandan economy. The post-budget conference organized by the Uganda Revenue Authority comes on the heels of the recent trading of Uganda's 52.7 trillion Uganda shillings for the financial year 2023-2024. The event that brought together several policymakers, economists and business leaders, among others, deliberated on maximizing revenue correction, stimulating investment and promoting sustainable economic growth. Uganda Revenue Authority has been entrusted with this mandate of collecting sufficient revenue for our national development and reducing our dependence on borrowing and external help. With the budget prioritizing the government's commitment to driving economic development and addressing key social economic challenges, the tax body is working tooth and nail to enhance its collection through efficient tax administration and enforcement measures. And as Uganda Revenue Authority, we are dedicating ourselves to a better relationship with our taxpayers. Stakeholders also discuss how to create a favorable business environment that attracts domestic and foreign investments. There were no new tax increases and tax rates. And this has been so for the last three years. Government has deliberately restrained from increasing the tax rates so as to facilitate businesses to recover from the impact of COVID-19. By the end of financial year 2023-24, Uganda's GDP is projected to expand up to Uganda shillings 206.54 trillion, an equivalent of 54.99 billion dollars. The Uganda Revenue Authority is expected to collect over 29.7 trillion shillings in the 2023-2024 financial year, an equivalent of 56% domestic funding of the national budget. Henry Mugenyi, NBS, Live at 9.